So we're in Adobe Photoshop and in this video we're going to be learning how to place an image within a text object to make it seem as if the image is inside the text. So I have a canvas open here in Photoshop. I've just got a simple background to make it a bit more interesting. If you haven't got a blank canvas open already, just go to File and New. And as you can see, the shortcut to it is Command and N or Control and N for Windows and just create a new document that you can use to follow along with this tutorial. So what you're gonna need is one blank canvas and then also a image. So I've already opened up an image that I'm gonna use, but you can also open up an image later if you'd prefer to do that instead. So to start off with, what we're going to do is actually create a text object. So to create a text object, we can go to the left-hand toolbar and press on the T character here, this small icon. And this is the type tool, so this is how we create text. And as you can see, the shortcut to it is T, the letter T on your keyboard. And that's both for Windows and Mac. So all you have to do is press once on your canvas using your left mouse key and then type in any text that you're going to use. So I'm just going to write sample text. So as you can see, I've decided to use all caps. Generally, the bigger the font and the bolder the font, the easier it is going to be able to see your image coming through. So that's something you will want to bear in mind. Now I'm just going to quickly change the color just so we can actually see the text. I'm just going to set it to white and press OK. And then I might actually make it even more bold by going to black and then press the tick in order to confirm my choices. So I'm just going to press on the move tool to which shortcut is V just to reposition it to the center using these purple lines as a guide. If you can't see the purple lines, they might be hidden. So just press Command and H or Control and H on your keyboard in order to bring them up. They only appear when you actually move an object. So now we have our text ready. If you're not quite happy with how your text looks, then I'd highly encourage you to check out the video I did on the text and type tool. So check that out in order to be able to customize your text even further. I'll make sure I leave a link to that in the description below. But what we're going to need now is we're going to need the image that we're going to use. So either go to file and open, or that you can see the shortcut is command and O and open up the image file that you're going to use. Or if you've already got it open, just go to the other tab with your image. Make sure that you're on the move tool and hold and drag your image and go to the other tab where you had your main project. Still holding in left mouse button and then release on the canvas. And as you can see, now we've copied our image in. Now the image is slightly large, so I'm going to just quickly reduce the size of it by pressing Command and T on my keyboard or Control and T for Windows in order to bring up the free transform. And then I can just quickly select these edges in order to reduce the size of our image. So I'm just going to scale it roughly to where our text is. So just like that. So as you can see, our image is currently positioned on top of our text layer in the layers panel. So this is ideal. This is exactly what we want. Now, in order to actually snap this to the confinements of the text, it's very, very simple. What we have to do is create a clipping mask. So all we have to do to create a clipping mask is go to our layers panel in the bottom right hand corner, find the layer that we have. So I might just quickly rename this by double clicking on the name and typing in image. Then holding Option or Alt on your keyboard. And then when your cursor changes to this small arrow that's pointing down with a small white box next to it, just press on the layer. And as you can see, we've now created a mask with this small arrow pointing downwards on the left hand side of the thumbnail. And our image has now masked to this text layer. So one and two things to bear in mind if this hasn't worked, you've always got to make sure that your image is on top of your text layer. And you've also got to make sure that the image is actually over the same space as the text object itself. Now, the great thing about the clipping mask is we can actually still go ahead and change the image. So if we're not happy with the position, all we have to do is make sure we're still on the move tool. And then we can actually still go ahead and drag this image around. And as you can see, it's just going to stick to the confinements of the text itself. So we don't have to worry about masking it any further. So this is ideal. You can also still go ahead and change the size of your image by pressing Command and T, Control and T to bring up the free transform again so you can make it larger. Or you can rotate it by using the arrow on the sides. Or you can even reposition it if you're looking to do that. If you want to flip the image, all you have to do is right click on the image itself and then go to flip horizontal or flip vertical, depending on what you want. 
for example, flip horizontal or flip it this way. So you might prefer that for your image. And then all you have to do is press on that tick in order to confirm your choices. So this is just a quick way you're able to place an image within text within the inside of a text object. Now, if you want to be able to move the text object itself, obviously you can still do that just by selecting the text object. But what you'll find is you're always going to press on the image if you select it directly. I'm just going to press Command and Z or Control and Z for Windows to undo that. So if you want to be able to move the text object, then all you have to do is press on the layer. And then when you're on the move tool, just untick auto select at the top here. And this will mean no matter where you select on your canvas, even if you're in a completely different area, you're still going to be moving only that layer. So that's a great way to be able to move the text. If you want to move both at the same time, just make sure auto select is reselected. What you can do is you can actually select both in your layers panel and move them. If you want them to always stay together, then what you can do is actually link the two layers together by going to the bottom of the layers panel where there's this small link icon. And if you press on that, you can see a link appears to the right of both layers. And this will mean if I unselect this layer and drag it at any point without even having to select both, you can actually move both at the same time. So those are just great ways to be able to actually customize this even further. So that was how you can place an image within the inside of a text object. This technique also applies to any other layer. You don't have to use a text object. If you have any other layer here, it will also stick to the confinements of that layers outline. Do remember to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the content and also to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a Photoshop tutorial. And if you're also interested in learning how to use After Effects, then do check out the After Effects playlist that we have on the channel.